the cage works mats. Um, tonight we're going to be working on a couple of the techniques we've been running in class. A couple of really good neon belly transitions as well as side control transitions. Uh, really good warm up drills. Good transition drills. Very, very simple. But you dictate the pace, you dictate how hard you go. So, first one we're going to start with. I'm going to have David starting on his back. Let's turn just a little bit, please. So, a very, very common knee on belly transitions. Again, this is an excellent warm up drill. So, a person on bottom, simplest thing to do is just keep those hands together because what I really want to focus on is as I'm working my knee on belly transitions, is keeping my hands off the mat always. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to post my hands on my opponent. First, we're going to do a minute to a minute and a half knee on belly transitions across the body. So, really working on that windshield wiper motion, okay? And every time we transition, we want to go to post leg. I don't want to keep it too shallow. I do not keep my knee down. Okay, so real simple. We're working one, two, three. Okay, so we're going for a minute to a minute and a half. Immediately transition to our knee on belly around the head transition. So knee on belly around the head transitions, my main goal is to make sure I always keep pressure on the body. So what I'm going to do is we're going to step. Then we switch the knees. Second leg comes around. We step, switch, come around. So next, you're going to go a minute, minute and a half there. Then after that, we're going to add one more little tweak to it. We step, come around, we're going to switch to reverse knee on belly. Back and around again. Okay. So we're going to do each one of those for a minute to a minute and a half. Okay. Next one we're working on is one of my favorite side control transition drills. Um, I learned this years ago from Lana Stefanik, who's an outstanding jiu-jitsu instructor and competitor. So we're dealing with a really common side control position here. My opponent's framing on my neck first. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. He's going to frame, he's going to drop his elbow, he's going to establish his underhook. Once that underhook's in play, he's off his back. I effectively have three options. I can focus on blocking the guard, I can wizard to try to put him onto his back, or I can move. Okay, and I always want to stay away from that closed guard. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to wizard. Second hand is going to come to the crown of the head. I'm pushing his head down towards my hips, and then we're going to quarter Nelson on the head. Okay, so once that's established, we're going to go one, two, and then I want a full base switch to the hips. So now I can free this hand. Very important, notice once I release my grip, the back of my wizard hand is going to keep that head cradled. So now I can take my free hand for support. We switch the base. Now that arm automatically turns into our cross base. It frames, underhook. We go one, two, three. So again, I don't want to shuffle around. What I want to do is hit a good base switch. So we cradle the back of the head. We step, we drop our knee. We hit our hip. Automatically come back into side control. Okay, one, two, three, and we're back. Okay, so we've worked a couple more good drills this week, uh, but those are two of the main ones that I really want everybody to feel comfortable and confident with. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much.